This was an excellent training to game transfer by Clark Caswell in our recent 2006 birth year festival in Vancouver. And I want to go through not only the clip itself, but I also want to go through all the principles that surround the clip. So he's going to get the puck uh, four different times. Three of them have solid offensive principles to it that I wanted that that are transfer situations that we were able to spend time on during this camp. So the first one is offensive puck support, which is being between two checks, trying to position yourself between two checks, having good shoulder check awareness, going with the puck, play make inside the switch window, and then beat the check off the wall. So you'll see here, this is the first uh, first possession that he has. So he's right here. So what he's going to do first is he's going to read. Uh, he has to defend first because we're defending here inside this drill. This is a live three-on-three -three drill in which players are challenged to try to apply what they what they know, what they've learned. So here he reads the turnover, and we're going to have two situations here. We're going to have the puck carrier is going to turn up, so he has two choices. He's either going to come up here, pop to be in in this space to provide puck support or he's going to provide low puck support. So he reads that this his teammate is in a is moving into this spot. So he instead he drops down. His uh, teammate sends the puck down and away we go. So now so now what happens is he reads that he's in an isolated one-on-one -on -one here. All of the checking pressure is on this side which leaves him uh, opportunity to go out this side. He's going to get a great shoulder check to read that his teammate has now beat his check off the wall. And so what he's going to do now is manipulate his check by his check has his stick on this side. He's going to go with the puck, and then he's going to make a play here inside this window to provide opportunity for his, his line mate. Then he's going to work to beat his check off the wall. So that was the first possession. The second possession, now he's got to resupport the puck between checks. He's got to be active without the puck, make sure he's moving in, in purposeful way. He's got to influence the feet of the defender once he gets the puck, counter the feet of the defender after the influence. Then he's got to take his check through traffic, force a switch decision, and then play make inside the switch window, and ultimately he's going to attack the net. So these are all the principles that are that are present. So here you can see he resupported high. His partner uh, teammate comes up high. Now they've established a one-on-one. -on -one. So he's he now has to shake his check and then get between two checks. So you'll see him. He stops to force his check to stop. Then he jumps by his check. Now, now he's between two checks. So he's between two checks and his part. His, this guy is in between two checks. So now what happens is. Um, there's a four switch which his teammate reads really well he's going this way this guy leaves his check in order to come to him so he bumps it back this guy now Clark is gonna go with the puck to influence the feet of his defender so he influences the feet of the defender and now he turns and now he's gonna take his check through traffic so because he uses that little hesitation play he was able to influence the feet of the defender and now he's going to take him through traffic. So he takes his check through traffic, creating a switch window. So now his check is unable to defend him because now he's he had to go through traffic, so he's not going to be able to stay on the defensive side. That means this guy has to engage. So there's a window now of opportunity right here which he can take advantage of, which he does. He's going to step out, take advantage of this opportunity, and take the puck to the net. Now, so that's two two possessions so far. So now we'll go to the third possession. Third possession, he's got a shoulder check on the arc and inside the acceleration. So we want to make sure he skill blends when he's uh, using his shoulder check on the arc, but also to be inside of the acceleration. His hands need to be inside the play, so he's got a good position to be able to make plays, Manip manipulate the check position, and his stick, so his positioning and his stick, we want to manipulate that and then execute a slip pass. 
So here he's going to turn on the puck. He gets right away. He's got shoulder check. Great play here by his partner to be able to set a moving uh, screen here. And then now his check comes out. So now he's got his hands inside the play. He's made a shoulder check inside of his skating. Now he's just got to capitalize on this time and space by manipulating his check. So he does that by reaching out. You'll see him reach out. He uses the space between the stick and the skates of his check and sends the puck right into the slot for another shot opportunity. He ends up with a, with a fourth possession, which we would like to see him just turn and go to the net here. He tries to slip another pack, puck through, and it doesn't work out. But it's an excellent example here of uh, training to game transfer and really using a live drill to be able to start pulling some of these elements that, and principles that we, that we were working on and encouraging. And so in this situation, you had three possessions and you had 17 different principles in the 40, well, I guess it would be 43 second, uh, 43 second shift. So it was an outstanding, uh, outstanding play by uh, Clark Caswell in this, in this instance.